My name is Ryan Seichert, and this is the Lingenfelter Collection. So on today's episode, I got another really sweet car. This is a 1989 20th anniversary Turbo Trans Am. This Turbo Trans Am is number 233 of the 1,555 that were built by PAS Inc. in Industry, California. It's a very cool ride. The 20th anniversary Turbo Trans Am was offered as a complete package. They all had the same look, white exterior, tan leather interior, and T-tops. Even though other TAs were available with CD players, the Turbo TA was available only with a Delco AM FM cassette with graphic EQ and steering wheel controls. On the exterior, the Turbo Trans Am closely resembles the GTA. The visual clues are the Indy wing tire emblems on the ground effects behind the front wheel wells and the dual twin stainless steel exhaust tips. Other cool giveaways is the turbo emblems on the front fenders. 20th anniversary emblems on the nose and the B-pillar, and a turbo insignia between the taillights. Then when you go inside, you'll see a turbo boost gauge that's incorporated into the tachometer face. What makes this car even more unique is that when it was delivered, it came with zero stickers. No windshield sticker, no door sticker. It was up to the individual to apply them if desired. It came with a 301 horsepower, 340 foot-pounds of torque, 3.8 liter V6 turbo power plant. This is the same engine as the one from the Buick Grand National. The difference between the two cars is that the TA needed different heads in order to squeeze the motor between the strut towers. Other changes to the motor are a cross-drilled crank, larger 12-inch GNX styled intercooler in place of the Grand National's 10-inch design, specifically designed stainless steel headers, high pressure Bosch 237 fuel pressure regulator, and a recalibrated engine control module. Another cool feature of the Turbo T8 is the 1LE racing brake package. This package upgrades the front disc to 12 inch police rotors, yes, police rotors, Corvette, twin piston aluminum calipers, and semi-metallic pads. These brakes are virtually fade proof and were installed to legalize the 1LE package for the Firehawk endurance racing. The rear discs were also increased to 12 inches in 1989 and used Corvette single piston calipers. Just when you think there wasn't enough cool features on the Turbo TA, the brakes were a quick change design. That means the pads could have been changed in 30 seconds. For more information on the Lingenfelter Collection, make sure to visit us online at www.thelingenfeltercollection.com and make sure to follow us on Facebook for upcoming events and new vehicles. Oh, and don't forget to leave a comment below because we love to hear from our friends. I'm Ryan Seichert, and I will see you next time.